You're listening to the Heavy Duty Parts Report. I'm your host, Jamie Irvin, and this is the podcast where you will get expert advice about the heavy duty parts that you buy and get informed about what's happening in the industry. This episode is sponsored by Zerk.Work. If you are a mobile heavy duty mechanic, check out Zerk.Work. Spicer U joints have been in the industry. They are the industry standard for heavy duty applications and they've been used with great success for many, many years. Most of my customers work in off-road conditions and they absolutely swear by the Spicer U joint. Now, if you're thinking about the Spicer U joint that comes in the red box, then you're thinking about what Spicer calls their genuine OE quality U joint. And that's the one that I know my customers have used with a great deal of success. But did you know that Spicer has another line of U-joints called Spicer Select that comes in a purple and white box? In this episode, I'm going to explain the difference and provide you with Spicer's suggestions of when you should use Spicer Genuine OE quality and when you should consider the Spicer Select aftermarket U-joint and other drivetrain products. Now, first, let's talk about Spicer Genuine OE Quality U joints and other drivetrain products. When you talk to loggers, miners, oil field transport fleets, and other heavy duty applications, you'll hear a lot of truck drivers, mechanics, and fleet owners say that when it comes to U joints, Spicer is the only way to go. And this is certainly because Dana has been manufacturing the Spicer line of genuine OE quality U joints in the red box. For years. And like I said, most of my customers, they've come to really trust and rely on this product because compared to other products in the marketplace, it just performs better. Now, all you must do is analyze what Dana calls this line of U joints and drivetrain products to really understand why they're perfect for off road extreme duty applications. First of all, let's look at the word genuine. That word genuine indicates that it's not a cheap knockoff. OE stands for original equipment, which is a term that indicates that this is the original equipment spec product that was on the truck when it rolled off the assembly line. And so if you replace it with an OE quality product, you're going to have good success because you had success with it in the first place. And that last word quality describes the materials and the design used to produce these drivetrain products. Put it all together and you have what Dana Spicer calls genuine OE quality U-joints and drivetrain products designed to outperform and outlast other U-joints and other drivetrain products. And that is why I know my customers, especially the ones that are off-road, have come to love this quality product and they stand by it because, well, it works. But as I mentioned, Dana has released another Spicer product called Spicer Select Aftermarket. And you may be wondering why Dana would manufacture another brand of Spicer drivetrain products when they've had so much success with their genuine OE quality products. Well, they don't necessarily come right out and say it, but if you read between the lines on Spicer's website, Dana's website, and you look at what they are putting forth as their reasoning, it appears to me that they've really made this decision for two reasons. First, there's a lot of competition for these products and the competition has been producing higher quality aftermarket drivetrain options. And I would guess that this is probably eroding the competitive advantage that the genuine OE quality product has had in the marketplace. With that erosion comes a loss of sales. That's one possibility. Again, they don't come right out and say this in so many words, but if you kind of read between the lines, this is what I think is possibly one, one reason. But a second reason is that fleets are straining to be profitable. <coughs> Excuse me. And that often leads to them testing multiple products to see if they can lower their purchase price and save money. And so with this erosion, of differentiation in the product or in the uh, rather in the marketplace based on quality of product then you have price pressure 
And I really think this is part of the reason why Dana and Spicer have released this secondary line is to try to relieve some of the price pressure so that when they are quoting on something that perhaps is a little bit less quality than the, than the OE, genuine OE product that they put out, they don't have to do an apples to oranges comparison. They can say, no, let's, let's do a apples to apples comparison and see where we stand. Again, they're not coming right out and saying this. This is kind of reading between the lines and knowing what I know of manufacturing and kind of the process of how this stuff goes. It seems to me that those would be two reasonable reasons why Dana Spicer would consider having a secondary line. Now, at the very least, Dana has felt that there was a need to produce the second line. Otherwise, they wouldn't have done it. And they must have felt that there was room in the marketplace for it and that they would be able to capitalize on that. And so they, they obviously felt strongly enough to put time and effort to releasing the secondary line. And they must have felt that there was room in the marketplace to support both lines. And so that's exactly what they've done. They've created the Spicer Select aftermarket line of drivetrain products. And the Spicer Select line is packaged in a purple and white box instead of the red and white box that the genuine OE quality product line is packaged in. Now, I checked the pricing at my store and it appears that Spicer Select line of drivetrain products is roughly about 25% cheaper than the genuine OE quality product in the red and white box. So when should you use Spicer Select? Well, according to the marketing material, Dana recommends the Spicer Select line of drivetrain products is specifically for aging vehicles that still have a job to do. So I'm quoting that right from their literature, aging vehicles that still have a job to do. What does that really mean? Well, again, Dana is not coming right out and saying exactly what they mean. If you read between the lines, though, you could make an argument that Spicer Select line is for older trucks that are still in service, but maybe they're not going to see as heavy miles or as tough jobs. Maybe they're going to be used as a backup truck. It's going to be lighter workloads. It's an older truck. and That's possibly what they mean there. Another interpretation could be that Spicer Select is for fleets that have older equipment that want to keep this older equipment in good working order, but they don't want to invest as much money on the purchase price of the parts that they use. Now, should you buy the Spicer Select line? Well, as with most things, I believe that the answer really is, it depends. If you've got an older truck, Dana recommends that you use Spicer Select. They've positioned this product and this entire line of products in the marketplace as a product that is as high of quality as possible for the purchase price that they are charging. Now, according to the marketing literature, Dana says that the Spicer Select line is purpose built as a premium aftermarket replacement part. So, what does that mean? Well, according to Dana, that means that they select the right manufacturing process, the right products, the right design specs, and the right quality levels. And then it's up to you to select a name you can trust. And what they mean by that is Spicer engineered by Dana and the quality level you need. So they're really putting the onus on you to make a decision. Do you need genuine OE quality and are you willing to, to pay more for it? Or are you in a position with an older vehicle that you can buy something that's a little less expensive, uh, maybe a little bit less quality, but still a high quality aftermarket part. And really they are leaving that decision up to you. So again, you've got to read between the lines here. Basically they're saying that they've got two lines of drivetrain products. They've got the genuine OE quality parts in the red and white box. And they've got the Spicer Select aftermarket products that come in the purple and white box. And both are quote unquote high quality, but one is genuine OE quality and one is aftermarket quality. And you have to understand that there is a difference. One costs more to produce, which if you listen to episode three of this podcast called cost per mile versus purchase price, you'll know that when something costs less, it means that something was taken out of the manufacturing process. It could be that the, the raw materials used are different, and it could be also that the technology, the design features are different, or it might be a combination of both. And I think that this is reflected in the fact that when you look at 
the warranty coverage of the genuine OE versus the aftermarket select, there is a difference. The genuine OE quality product has a two year unlimited mileage warranty and the Spicer Select aftermarket has a 18 month, 100,000 mile warranty. So there is a difference there. And that is a reflection that Dana themselves feel that this Spicer product is of less quality when you're buying the aftermarket, albeit still the highest quality possible for the price that they're charging. Now, I want you to just keep in mind, you rarely get more than you pay for. So as long as you don't buy the lower cost aftermarket option and expect the same performance as the expense, more expensive genuine OE quality line, then I think you're going to do fine. And there is a reason that the Spicer Select aftermarket products in the purple and white box cost less. Again, something was changed in the manufacturing process to bring down the cost. It could be lower raw material, you know, lower quality raw materials. It might be the lower cost of labor, and it might be a combination of both in design and technology. And again, this is reflected in the specific application that Dana is recommending for the Spicer Select line, namely older equipment that, as they say, still has a job to do. And the warranty policy, which at the time of this recording, you can find at spicerparts.com slash Spicer Select, and the link will be in the show notes, is again, there's a difference between the OE and the aftermarket. Now, I want to go on record here in saying that I think if you're going to buy aftermarket U-joints, center bearings, and differential carrier bearing kits, and the strap kits that go along with the, these products, I think you absolutely should buy Spicer Select. But as always, I want you to carefully consider what that decision is going to do to your cost per mile. Now, Dana themselves are encouraging you to make a judgment call. They want you to pick the product that is best for your specific situation, and they want you or your mechanic to make that decision. But I want to caution you about something. If you are specifying Spicer drivetrain parts, and when you say that to your salesperson, what you mean is you want the genuine OE quality parts that are in the red and white box. Be careful that if your quote comes back from a competitor, you know, you're, you're getting a quote from your usual supplier and you're getting one from a competitor. And it seems like, wow, it's quite a bit different in price. Chances are they're actually quoting you on the aftermarket product. So a salesperson could look you in the eye and genuinely say to you without being dishonest that they are quoting Spicer parts, but they may be quoting Spicer select aftermarket parts that are in the purple and white box, which as I said, is on average about 25% less than the genuine OE quality uh, line of, of Spicer parts. Now, one way of identifying the difference between these two lines, other than the color of the box, is the description on the box. Now at the bottom left corner, on the red and white box, you will see it'll say genuine OE quality. And on the purple and white box, it'll say aftermarket products. Another example uh, where you can differentiate very quickly is if you haven't seen the packaged goods, you can look at the part numbers on the quote that someone gives you. Now we're all familiar with like a 5-279X U-joint. Well, if that's a genuine OE part number, the aftermarket, the Spicer Select number will be 25-279X. So it's very, very close, but that might be another way that you can differentiate between the two lines. Now, the key takeaway from this episode is that Dana has done a great job providing us with two different lines of Spicer drivetrain parts. We have the Spicer Genuine OE Quality in the red and white box, and we have the Spicer Select Aftermarket in the purple and white box. It's up to you to choose which line fits your needs the best. Now, you've been listening to the Heavy Duty Parts Report. I'm your host, Jamie Irvin, and if you aren't a podcast listener and you'd prefer to watch the 
uh, videos that go along with these episodes, you can go to the Heavy Duty Parts Report YouTube channel. There's a link in the show notes of this episode. Please subscribe. Make sure you click the bell so you get notified when new episodes go live. And I really appreciate the support of the show. Thank you for listening and watching. And remember, let's focus on lowering your cost per mile, over purchase price, and let's keep those trucks and trailers rolling.